change to your lineup, Coach? No Ryan Dezingle this morning. Will he play tonight? He's very hopeful, yeah. If not, if not, uh, Carrie will be in. What, um, what challenge does it present when a team, I know they played the night before, but when they lose 8-2, to two, what do you expect the Philadelphia Flyers to bring? We're not expecting their B game, I can tell you that. We're expecting their A game, just like you saw. Uh, San Jose losing 4 nothing. They brought their A game yesterday. When I watched on TV, it was clear. They were out on a mission, and uh, so these guys will be coming out, and they'll be out on a mission too. Is it, uh, what kind of challenge does the, uh, the Couturier, Voracek, Giroux line present? And <laughs> being at home, how does that help you out versus the, you have the Pasternak line on the road and Matthews and Marjorie? Well, of course, uh, like I said, it's, it's tough on the road, but uh, we've said, and I'm, I'm not hiding behind anything, saying that we don't have the making now to have matchup lines and matchup pairs on defense. So it's, it has to be a team thing. And, um, yeah, it's over time. That's what we need to improve for sure. Uh, uh, but we're not asking the same guys to play against a certain line until we have enough guys that are able to do it. Then we can put that pressure on those uh, specific individuals. But uh, right now it has to be a, a team challenge to be able to play against the other team's top lines. And it has been tough. If you, I think we've played well as a team. Uh, there's a lot of enthusiasm. We're very dangerous offensively. We could have scored a lot more. Uh, we scored, but we could have scored a lot more. So we know that. But we know defensively, uh, you know, you can't uh, precipitate time. We need time and experience to to kick in. And it's and 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 some individuals, of course, are either young or or out of their chair. And so um, I, it's my job and and the rest of my staff to understand that and try next not to expose the same guys to have to deal with it, uh, the other team's top players, but they've hurt us, you know, Kane hurt us, and then Tavares hurt us, and uh, and you saw last game, the Bergeron line hurt us, because that's, we knew, we knew that before the year started, that that's our challenge, that's our biggest challenge, is uh, who's gonna be able to play uh, against those top end guys. So as we move along here, that's what we're hoping to improve in the next months. Do you, do you, do you see Colin Mike evolving into a player that you'd, you'd be able to put? Absolutely, absolutely. That's he's, he's exactly that that model of player who's who's smart, reliable, gritty, uh, has got the speed, uh, and so it's just he's just young now. He's a kid now. That's all. Uh, we we project, but how long it'll take? You know, we're not. Uh, I'm not here to expect tomorrow morning that uh, you know he's able to do it. And if he's not doing it on a one shift or another, that all of a sudden the uh, you know, it's the end of the world. We we know where our guys are, and we know where they need to go, and the projections that we make with certain individuals, we also know it's going to take time to get there. Is he old enough to be a, or experienced enough to be a center in the league? Well, right now, that's what we're slowly doing. Like right now, you saw he, he's, ta he's taking the face-offs on the right. He's doing very good on the right. We know it's harder on the left, and so we're trying to manage that. And um, you know, we, we've got them right now with Pi and Pi RV are two great guys to play with because you know they'll work, they'll back you up, they'll uh, be there when you make mistakes. And uh, so, in that respect, and, and in a, it, they'll relieve the pressure. I mean, we saw the other day it was a little harder when we put him with Duchesne. Uh, you felt the pressure there in Toronto it was a little overwhelming for him, which is normal. Uh, so, right now, it's one step at a time. Uh, but we're slowly, you know, he, he saw some power play time, he's going to see some PK time, and he's going to play against top end players uh, on a few shifts uh but we're gonna we're gonna groom him uh, over uh, over time Tommy Schwab's getting a lot of attention but it's only three games so I understand but last year in the last 10 games he averaged 21 minutes which is what he's doing right now so are we seeing the same Thomas Shabbat at the end of last year or is there a different it's it's uh, it's obviously it's the same person, but you know a few months later, at that age, it's a gigantic difference in maturity, and you can see it already. But uh, whatever he needed to improve before is still the same thing, and whatever he had as great uh, qualities, he still has. So I think right now it's a continued growing to be. He's one of those guys that's going to be a top two uh, on on a defensive pair for sure. Uh, is just you know to be a top two is that somebody that you can put on against the best players day in and day out and with the offense also so that's what we project he's going to be uh, but like like we talked about White or whether it's Formanton and those guys you know it's it's going to take time to get there and like I said uh, I think the putting him with the mellow was uh, worked out really well 
because uh, DeMello is one of those guys that um, plays a, a smart, simple game that helps young guys to calm down, and uh, and he, he's able to back Chabby up when, when he's up in the play, when he decides to go. We want him to go, and I think his decision-making on that has drastically improved, when to go, when not to go, and it's, 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 with two years ago, it's night and day. So I think right now it's it's uh, a major development in that part, I would say. So then are his minutes different because Eric's gone, so is, are his 21 minutes? Uh, Eric's minutes are spread amongst everybody. They're not. If you're looking for somebody to replace Eric's minutes, that's not happening. But I just mean in terms of Shabbat's play, is it, are his 21 minutes harder now than they were at the end of last year? No, be, no, because the end of last year was, you know, was, was tough and was hard, and uh, obviously we've... Uh, you know, we were in a situation we were where we were giving him minutes to accelerate that process, to be honest with you, to, to have the best start possible for this year. So we were already projecting that this year he would get more ice time, more responsibilities, whether Eric was there or not. It's, it's, that's where we are right now with our roster. <laughs> De, ben en ce moment, on joue différemment de, des deux dernières années. L'année passée, on était très bon pour empêcher des, des tirs de l'intérieur. Euh, Puis cette année, ben, on joue plus un, quelque chose de très simple à cause de nos jeunes. Euh, on veut couper les jeux qui, qui, qui montent en haute zone pour, pour, pour qu'il y ait moins de, de, de roulement dans notre zone. Euh, on joue pas un man-to-man. -man. Euh, on peut pas jouer un man-to-man -man avec les joueurs qu'on a. Parce que pour jouer un man-to-man, -man, ça prend des joueurs euh, aguerris, des joueurs qui ont de l'expérience. Sinon, c'est impossible à jouer parce qu'il faut te faire battre un contre un quand, quand tu manques d'expérience ou quand tu as des jeunes. Alors, peu importe la, la, la zone défensive que tu joues, si tu dépends de tes un contre un. Alors, on sait qu'on est faible là-dessus. Euh, puis ça va nous prendre des mois avant d'être comme on voudrait être, puis encore là. Euh, puis ça, c'est le niveau d'expérience, c'est la qualité de joueur qui va se développer avec le temps. Fait que les joueurs ils peuvent être à la bonne place, mais il va y en avoir un qui est un petit peu en retard, whoop, va se faire battre un contre un. Fait que c'est le challenge, je, je, je me cache pas. Depuis le début, on le dit défensivement, c'est de l'expérience qui nous manque, puis c'est là qu'on va aller la chercher avec le temps. Alors, la zone défensive va paraître super des fois, puis à d'autres moments d'année, ça va être plus difficile. You mentioned Formington as one of the guys growing. He gets a lot of breakaways or odd man rushes because of speed. The finish maybe hasn't caught up. Is it something you could teach a guy in a breakaway? Is this yeah, actually, he's done real well this year in breakaways. He scored. Uh, he scored in the rookie camp. Uh, scored in the uh, development camp. Scored in uh, uh, exhibition games. Uh, against Chicago on a breakaway. Uh, so, no, he's done really well in that regard. I would say right now that the biggest thing for him is, is his last game was his best game because he managed to puck well under pressure. And that's, that's a real pro thing. Um, you know, usually young guys throw pucks away when they under pressure. Uh, but I thought he's made giant leaps last game in that respect. So we, we all staff thought that was his best game because we know he can go. We know he's going to get breaks. We know all that. But right now the focus is to be able to be an NHL player is to be able to manage the puck under pressure and be able to execute when the heat's on. Uh, and, and Yeah, yeah, everywhere. From the D zone, if you look at the penalty kill, he played great last game. He's able to manage puck down low, then throw it away back to the opponent. Uh, is able to, to br help us break out under pressure. And those are, those are specific professional attributes that you have to have to be an NHL player. If you don't have that, you're constantly giving the puck back to the opponent. In the NHL, it'll kill you. So I think in that regard, he's definitely uh, has improved. So we're not asking him to improve his speed. We're not asking him to. That's not that's not where it's at. If you're going to be an NHL player, it's because you can manage an NHL game. And right now, he's definitely taking some really good steps. <laughs> Oh, absolument. Oh, on voit ça depuis le début. C'est c'est pas c'est pas des trois dernières journées là. On a vraiment des des, euh, des vétérans qui ont euh, qui ont pris à, ça à cœur, même de deux mains. Ils ont été au devant de ce qu'on souvent de ce qu'on leur a demandé. Euh, puis ça n'a pas changé. C'est le contraire. Ça continue de grandir puis se développer. Ce qui fait que notre équipe en ce moment est en train de se développer une chimie. C'est en train de se développer des des intangibles qui sont vraiment intéressants. Comme vous voyez, tu sais, on, a perdu, euh, on a perdu le match, mais un matin, c'était euh, un entraînement avec énormément d'enthousiasme et euh, beaucoup d'énergie. Euh, tu sais, ça, ça, ça vient juste parce que ta chambre est saine. 
en ce moment, notre chambre est saine. Puis elle est saine parce que les jeunes sont bien entourés. Puis les vieux font une super job de leadership en même temps que euh, prendre leur, leur boulot aux autres euh, respectifs euh, très au sérieux.